Hello my friends, I'm of course Mr. Mocklover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich as we are playing as good old MacArthur's federal government in which we are smashing the crud out of long. Last time we actually lost quite a bit of men. We've lost over a million men so far. Holy cow. Well, if you look at that though, long has lost more than double our casualties. Pretty good. They've also inflicted quite a few casualties on the PSA, even though they've actually inflicted more on us than that we've done to them, but that's just because we haven't been focusing on them. Right now, though, I have just cut off New Orleans from the rest of the AUS, so at this point, I don't care about New Orleans. I'm going to focus on Texas, because we need fuel, and even though we're actually doing pretty well in fuel right now, uh, we're going to push hard. We're going to re-push hard into that area, which would be a good thing. I've split off the tanks, finally. Uh, Jaffe, he needs time to heal up with his tanks, get more tanks, literal more light tanks in there. So right now, it's up to the Navy to try and sink enemy convoys. Oh, look at that. That'll be a good lunch if we can kill them all. We'll see what happens. So at this point, Texas is the last real, you know, state that we need. Ooh, and I, I knew we'd be losing stuff because their Navy's out as well. But uh, Texas, this Texas, I can't speak right now for some reason, is the last state that we need. And basically what we're going to do is invade the area where I used to live. Let's do it. Let's take out Houston. Cool. I'm going to do this first, and then we're going to do... Uh, actually, that would be okay to do that there. And we have another 100 planes. Cool. Hope you're all having a great day. There's a couple comments I would like to get to by the time I recorded this. I probably won't be able to get to all comments just because I'm recording this not late in the day. So, Oh, and we do have a focus. Choose our focus. Let's see. Radar development is always nice. Eh, it's not really necessary, though. Naval aviation for naval aircraft or battle cruisers. Cruiser models. That's not bad. I kind of like that. So, battle cruisers present a middle balance between heavy battleships and faster cruisers. We should ensure that we have some in our navy. Maybe we'll make them, maybe not. After this war is over, just... We're going to have a good time with the rest of the world. Especially Canada. If Canada refuses to give us New England, I'm going to kill the Entente. I will single-handedly just destroy the Entente if I have to. Oh, look at that. Convoy's dying. I love it. Finally, some naval victories here. Finally. Especially after we put, upgraded these guys. He only has 10 subs left. Uh, okay, regimental combat teams. Good. That's going to help us in a war effort. Good. Let's get mechanized offensives, which is always good. Uh, support equipment. Sure. Sure, buddy. Sure thing. Liberty and sunshine. So our goal is still to defend against the PSA. Oh, we got the separate done for the AUS again. Ah, oh, that's so good. Ah, oh, that's so good. I can't wait. I'm only going to have uh, MacArthur attack as he's getting his soldier down here again. Because this is one hellacious move into Texas. Let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking of it, a good operation name for the invasion of Texas. Hmm. Oh, we got another light tank. Nice. Let's see. I'm thinking big oil, but I think I like using big in too many things. Oh, do we have done the PSA? We have done the PSA. Keep doing Canada. You never know. And actually, since we're here, uh, let's do this. Get some more passive defense. We're still building up more civilian factories and some military factories, which is nice. Oh, look at that. You can kill that. Very good. Very, very good. All right, it's time for us to go. Oh, we'll call it Operation Longhorn. There we go. Operation Longhorn. Let's go and get the cipher ready to go. Thank you. I don't think we have the thing ready for long. That's okay. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. You'll be fine. Uh, I'm actually going to make sure that we throw in extra soldiers here that are not moving. It'll be good and fine. Fine and dandy. Get to race to Houston. Good. Help them out, help them out. The Philippines are gone. So, let's address a few of the comments. Oh, the first one is, someone recommended that I invade Japan. Now, they're helping us out, and I don't really think it'd be okay now. Eventually, we might end up in a war, especially... Oh, hello! Battle of the Gulf of Mexico. They did, uh, let's see, annex like Guam, I think, and stuff like that. So, we might invade Japan later on. We'll see what happens. I don't know how the scope of this campaign is going to turn out, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, someone also said, unite the country. This is an awesome naval battle. We actually sunk two enemy battleships. Really? This should have been ours. All we lost were planes, though, which, which is awesome. And we sunk nine destroyers. Amazing. We're going to lose a convoy or two there. That's fine. And um, since we have MacArthur, someone did recommend we drop nukes in China. So we might go see what happens when we get to Asia. We, we I have no idea what might happen, so we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, guys, go ahead and leave. You can't really contend with carriers right now, so... Oh, we're pushing in, we're pushing in. Have we reached Nacogdoches yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. Have we reached Tyler, Texas yet? Ah, oh, look at that. Not very much. Plane versus plane action, but that's okay. Oh, look at that carrier. Oh, we sunk a battleship. 
Oh, the carrier's... N oh, it's naked. And by naked, I mean, like, it's alone. So. Oh, we're actually winning over here, too. Come on, guys. We have the thing. Uh, it is 39. Grab that. We could get better guns, but let's not jinx ourselves. You know, if you're going to push in, you must help out here, too. All of you guys have to help out here. Help out, help out. Come on, go, 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 go. Gotta get some of that fuel. Look at that. Not bad. Edwin is looking pretty good. How are our ships? Are they repairing? Yes, they are. Yeah, they should be repairing. Nice. Very nice. Hey, Russia, sure. Oh, we got some more political power. Great. Um, For this, I usually would probably just choose fighters. Just because we want more air attack, more range. More stuff like that, because that's always good to get. Always, always, always good. Nice. Now, once we take this tile, I think that's pretty much where I used to live. Oh, it's kind of in between up here, I think. That's okay. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, Operation Longhorn is doing okay. It's not doing as well as I hoped it would. But uh, it's still going, it's still going. Hubner, got anything for us? Clarence? Nope, not really. Houston is definitely the city that we need, though. Honestly, we could probably take New Orleans right now. But with sinking all their convoys, it's making me feel pretty good. So, uh, I mean, you guys could try to help out. Ah, uh, there you go. Houston. Just go straight for Houston. I've been Houston several times. Construction 3. Great. Naval Aviation. So, Naval Aviation is the future of warfare on the high seas. We should ensure that our air designs are capable of being launched from carriers and destroying the enemy fleet without even endangering our own. Great idea. Construction 3 is done. I love it. Let's grab some better artillery first before guns. Even though we probably need... Eh, we're actually doing okay. Need more motorized, though. Passive defense. Great. We got this one done. We got that one done. Do that stuff next. Cool. We might just get Houston before it's done and over with. Lost another convoy. Necessary losses, you know. And I do want to get some more naval XP for our, our admirals. I think that's very important. Oh, and the PSA is still pushing very harshly against us. Uh, well, in that case, we got to capitulate him. Hey, we got Houston. There we go. Look at that. We have Houston. We have got it. Oh, look at that. Urban. Everyone, focus on Nolens. You should be able to take it at this point. And we've broken through, we've broken over the river, we have Dallas, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we have Oklahoma City, oh, he, Texas is done. Grab Austin, go, 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 Omar Bradley, you're a great general. Level 6, nice stuff, son. Get to Austin, and we might be able to cut him off as well. Get to the border with Mexico. And I do have a cup of coffee here. Actually, I made this a special cup of coffee with extra beans. And the deal with the devil is over the PSA's gone to war with the American Union state. Which is, uh, I really don't want him to take more territory, but, you know, whatever, it is what it is. Formation of the first paratrooper divisions, with the success of our scheduled mass jumps, and the blessing of General John C. H. Lee, the recently reopened Fort Eustis had begun taking volunteers for paratrooper units, while originally the high training standards and relatively high mortality, mortal risk, initially caused a few volunteers to show up, the High Command authorized a triplication of the paratrooper wage as opposed to the soldier wage. Soon enough, the 501st paratrooper or parachute battalion was formed, quickly followed by other battalions and regiments. After re recruitment, the number of volunteers was enough to form, form five paratrooper divisions for us to utilize. With these divisions still, still lacking combat experience, this breakthrough in airborne tactics should not be underestimated, and the High Command is looking forward to seeing these investments pay off. Cool. We actually get divisions? Oh, that's so awesome. I actually really don't like using paratroopers because sometimes it feels a little gamey when you use them. But you know what? If we have them, <clears throat> I, mean, I, I guess I'll use them if I can. You know what? If I can, I might just sacrifice these guys and attempt uh, oh, keys uh, to just pair drop to L.A., San Francisco, Sacramento. Just capitulate them that way. That sounds like a lot of fun. Come on, guys. You're doing a great job. Even down here, you can do well. Yes. Ah, the Germans have showed up. Good. Oh, don't worry about attacking for now. Yeah, over river, not a good idea. Are they still attacking us up here? Nope, they can't break into Minnesota. Well, they did a little bit, but that's okay. If I pay attention, we could actually probably do well here. So, let's go ahead and go this way. Go that way. Help them out here. Can you reach it? No, you can't. Obviously, you can't. Yeah, beat them up. They're just Californians for the most part. Some Nevadans. Hey, the collapse of the Union, as it should be. We didn't even need to get New Orleans. Great! We cut off Southern Texas, the fall of Nolans. Beautiful, my friends. This is all coming together. I knew it would happen in this episode within the first 10 minutes. Now it's time to go to town on these little pieces of garbage called rebellious Pacific states. The West Coast is going to fall, and you know what? I'm going to rush soldiers here. 
go, 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 go. They're going to take all of Arizona. They'll probably take the rest of Colorado. As long as they can get New Mexico, so we can avoid these mountains, that'd be nice. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and increase the infrastructure here because we're going to need it immediately. But look at up. We got plenty of fuel. This is awesome. Now, unfortunately, our navy is looking pretty goddamn damaged. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Just combine them all to 10. It's fine. Civilian economy. That's good. Oh, you don't like that, huh? Well, I don't like you. Good. A possible ceasefire. The Civil War has ravaged America, and there's a growing discussion within the government regarding approaching the Pacific States of America for a possible ceasefire. Whether the Pacific rebels would even consider such a thing is unknown, but if it occurred, it would give us time to consolidate our hold over the East and for our men to recover. Eventually, a reckoning would be necessary, of course, but we don't, if we don't attempt this now, the war may drag on even longer as a result. Meet him at Denver? Hell no. Hell no. Do you think that was a good choice? Do you think that's a good choice, having a ceasefire? I don't think so. I think that's a terrible choice. Why would we do that? Seriously, why? We already have almost all of America except New England under us. <laughs> Relocate the capital. Only what's is relocate the capital. All right, you guys are on the line. Oh, this is going to stretch out their line even more. This is so good. You know, we're going to have a general attack. I, I don't even care. Actually, we're not losing any supplies here either. That's really good. Once these guys get enough organization, we're going to go to town. We're going to pound town with these rebellious pieces of garbage. Uh, for you guys, go ahead and train. I know you guys worked pretty hard and nearly killed yourselves. Hey, so Germany, I saw that you helped out Texas or the American Union state. Now you want to give us divisions? As much as we don't like what you're doing, or playing both sides here, we'll accept it for now. For now. We'll see what happens in the end, though. Do that. Do we have any planes? Close air support. Go ahead and put some close air support on here. That'll be good. That'll be very nice. Throw them on the main division group. That'll be good. Border sort of Mississippi. Great. I love Mississippi now. Yeah, eventually we're going to run out of divisions here. Like, uh, or we're gonna have to lose a lot of divisions because of uh, what's gonna happen when the Civil War ends. Alright, this little pokey. I don't like these pokies. Well, I like pokies, but not these types of pokies. Cool. Texas, great. Uh, Daniel. Nope. Nothing interesting. Push him out of Mi uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Naval aviation, great. Expand dockyards. I like that. New admirals. Ooh. Through the Marine Corps. Let's get some dockyards. Our dockyards are somewhat inadequate to fight a war on their own. We need to ensure that new naval production facilities are constructed to support the war effort. Oh, man. Once this war is over, we're going to build up so many civilian factories, so many military factories, and dockyards. It's not even going to be funny. All right, guys, get on the line. Come on, Douglas MacArthur. Sweden? Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's grab Denver real quick if we can. Yeah, there's tanks fighting or holding there. But we can do that. We can increase infrastructure here as well, so that'd be nice. That'll be very nice. Get the Marines in there, even though I should really have Mountaineers. I really should develop Mountaineers before this, but that's okay. Come on. You're slowly going to be increasing. They're only light tanks. I should have given you anti-tank. That's okay, though. All right. Three. All says ultimatum. Oh, and the German soldiers that they were just giving to us are probably going to go bye-bye. You know what? I honestly probably don't need this many tanks. So go ahead and do that. Do that. Do that. Good. Three. I'm not going to wait anymore. You guys go ahead. Green all around. The French commune has declared war upon the Reich's Pact in Germany. The Second Valkyrie is going, and people want to give us stuff. I love it. Nice. Now, I don't expect a lot of success on the front Im immediately, but I'm expecting some sort of success. Yeah, I'm not even going to use the tanks here, because using them in mounts is a waste of time. Crush these rebels. Oh, the Council votes on Legation Navy. Oh, has convened to Council... Convene the council to vote on a special motion whether or not to allow the legation cities a fleet of its own. With the world growing more polarized and war-torn by the day, it's only natural that the isolated legation cities should look to their own defenses. But can we afford to spare the cost of providing a ship for the fleet? We shall vote with care. Um, they say no. What is our relationship with them right now? Because I kind of don't mind if they do that. Yeah, we, we really like them, so I'm actually okay with that. We vote yes. No abstention. One abstention. Well, that sucks. Oh well, uh, we don't really need more divisions, honestly. We we'll do Southern Texas. Oh, push. Oh yeah. Now that's going to give us probably. It's going. We're going to be able to push pretty easily in here then. We don't want to ruin supply even more by throwing in paratroopers over here, so we're not going to do that. We can get some radar. Now we've taken half a million casualties, but we are making sure that the enemy catches up to us. Oh my goodness. Even though our numbers are still going up, we have more than triple their division count. Union of Brazil is proclaimed. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not good. 
Is it Doro? Diaz or Lopez? Hello. Oh, that deficit of motorized is looking a lot better now. Well, it's not great, but still looking a lot better. Come on, keep building those areas up. Do we get? We did get Colorado. Great. Oh, Colorado has a little bit of fuel. Nice. French Republic. Thank you. New Mexican loyalists. Your country welcomes you. Southern Texas. Good. Any other divisions? Nope. That's okay. We've broken in, almost into Nevada. We've broken literally into Cal California already. That is awesome. The vote fails. The most recent vote in the city council is voted by a narrow margin. It cannot be proposed again. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, I guess Mexico, maybe? Uh, is Mexico in the third international? They are, so we're going to kill Mexico. Which is fine. Just normal things. Improved cruiser hull. That is a light cruiser, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. I think I designed this one. Yeah, I did. That's not bad. Uh, which one? One of these really needs more screens. This one looks like it needs more screens. Uh, actually, both could, oh, both of them could really use more screens. It's fine, though. Alright, cool. Let's get some better guns. M1 Johnsons. Nice. There we go. Better artillery. Insulinda. Insulinda. Well, even though you guys really don't need to be doing anything, that's fine. Oh, God. We even... Oh, San Diego's a frontline city. Great. Take it. I could send my navy over there, but if I do, that just means my ships are just going to get destroyed at least probably a little bit, and I don't want to have that happen. So, uh, we're doing pretty okay, I'd say. Not, not, you know, extremely well, but we're doing pretty well, I'd say. Especially since 600,000 versus, eh, we're taking still quite a few casualties. They can't keep it up though. Improve the Marine Corps. Yeah, good luck with that. They're on extensive conscription. I don't think we're, we are on. Con no, we're just on limited conscription. MacArthur knows what he's doing. I'll tell you what. Cool. Mm, infantry looking pretty awesome. Armor divisions looking pretty good too. I could use them, but with all these mountains, that's not a good idea. A cavalry, 20 combat width. Throw in the recon. Throw in that. Are we making support equipment? We don't. Okay, my bad. Expand the dockyards. A great idea. Truly great idea. Anything here on the left? Nope. Anything here on the right? We haven't won the Civil War yet, but we're getting there. We'll get radar soon enough. Liberty ships, that looks cool. Sub technology, that's okay. Oh, we can produce things faster. Cruisers, naval base. Oh my god, yes. Naval base construction speed plus 20% and dockyard plus 10%. Oh yeah. That's good sub development then. Subs allow us to wreak havoc on enemy shipping and heavy ships. We should ensure that our designs stay up to date against enemy destroyers and anti sub tactics. Oh god, once America's reunited, I'm going to be making ships out the wazoo. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, do that one, don't do Mexico. In fact, it's pretty good. Just keep going. I don't think the enemy can really stand up to us at this point. Stockpile-wise, uh, it's lagging a little bit. Oh, they're out, of, they're out of guns. They almost have no plans yet, too. So, even though it's hellacious doing it like this, this is pretty much what it's going to have to be. Mechanized offensive is good. I almost always choose shock and all, just because you get more soft attack and recon for your recon. Uh, it's not bad. You get more soft attack. Ooh, artillery support. Get more soft attack, too. That's, is that new? And this, this helps out infantry a lot more than the other one, so. Okay, Russia. Okay. Looking cool. Oh, they busted back into here, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Yeah, they're out of guns, so. Hey, we're taking back the Dakotas. Yes. Uh, Colorado, yes. And it's just a matter of time before they capitulate. Sniper selection, with the first test group of snipers having left basic training, the question has been brought up. While the first t group was drawn from volunteers of all the U.S. Army, there's been a significant portion or performance difference between the Marine and Ranger volunteers compared to a regular Army volunteers. As such, both branches are contesting for the funding of the War Department to continue the sniper program, which, and we can only pick one. Which branch, the Army or the Marines? Oh, crap. I love both. I really love the Marines, man. I almost joined the Marines twice. But uh, I think I'm going to go with the Army because I'm just using the Army a little bit more, so... We look at the capital, never, never ever. LA is still a frontline, it is a frontline city, and they're going to lose it probably. Uh, and you know what? They already lost Southern California, so I got all the oil. I've got all the oil. God, that sounds so American. I've got all the oil. Never enough oils, man. Never enough. MacArthur, you've definitely chosen your place in history as a dude. We'll put it like that, as a dude. Not really much you can do. I can send in the army, but. But well, there's going to be a, probably a lot of resistance to our rule once uh, the war's over. Naval Department, great. 
Alright. This wall, this stuff, this is great. We probably really don't need to expand upon this too much more, so go ahead and go down to... You know what, New Mexico and go to the bottom. Colorado, you can probably go to the bottom as well. Two Sicilies joining the Larix Pack. Arizona, let's finish at least one more level and then we'll send everything else to the bottom. Resistance rises in the Midwest. Support for the Democratic proponents of the Pacific government has, been, has a strong presence in the American Midwest, with several protests on the streets frequently, many of whom appear to be placing blame for the Civil War squarely on the shores of MacArthur. These protests have recently become more organized and have culminated in a widespread up uprising across Colorado, quietly funded and equipped through underground means. Whether these rebels will succeed in opening up a new front for the Civil War remains to be seen. A nuance, nuisance at best. Um, yeah, that's just a nuisance. I've got my tanks. I will literally run you over in tanks. MacArthur is not messing around. If he's going to do that to the people who are like striking or the veterans after World War One, when they're demanding more goods and guns or you know just their paychecks, uh, yeah, MacArthur's got no qualms about doing this. Send in the paratroopers. Send in the tanks. You know what? Since you're here, just go there. Since you're here, go there. It won't really matter since Sacramento will fall soon enough. They've already lost almost half their victory points. And that's suffered more casualties than us. For what purpose did you do this, California? It was really just California. And, I mean, they probably just coerced Oregon and Washington to do it. But for what purpose? For more dead Americans? Look at the destruction they caused. The absolute destruction. The death toll that has resulted. I mean, come on. Come on, man. Seriously? I get it. If you're going to commit crimes, it better be usurping power, but if you're going to usurp power, make sure you actually do it. <laughs> don't lose. <laughs> Seriously, just don't lose. Good. That's, that looks so nice. Even more military factories? That's going to be so good. Grab some more of that. Oh, look how many light tanks we have. That's so good. We need more. Ooh, we need some of this. Advanced machine tools, great. Oh, we're working on that already. Maybe a little more extraction. It's 39. I'm gonna go tanks. Whoever uses like 1941. Ooh, Louisiana loyal to this, but 1941 light tanks. I mean, I've never actually gone down that path. I've never ever done that. I've never gone down this path either. These look great. And I, you know what? I might use them for Marines. Maybe should I use those for Marines? Let me know in the comments. Should I use amphibious tanks for my Marines? I think I should. I'm thinking I might should. I've never done that before. Let me know in the comments below. Should I use them or should I not in this campaign? Because we're going to have to naval invade other areas. Let me just tell you that. Mm. God, I, I, you know what? After reading more and more about Utah, I really want to visit Utah someday. It sounds like a really rectangular, squarey nation. This sounds very interesting. Very, very interesting to my mind. Then again, I play a lot of Old World Blues, so that's probably why. And also, I let time go on just a little bit because I forgot about it, but this doesn't really hurt us too much since it does save like 10 days if you don't choose it yet. So, Liberty Ships. Our shipyards, previously dedicated to commercial shipping, can easily be converted to produce massive numbers of convoys to supply our allies around the world. Well, they can only do that if I actually decide to make convoys. So, And you just keep going up north. Just go straight up. Yeah, the PSA is done. They're done. Do we have the cipher done yet again? No, we don't. That sucks. And um, we've lost a lot of guys. Don't get me wrong. We have lost a lot of guys. We have less than 100,000 manpower in reserve. But we should be okay. For now. We should be okay. I mean, it, this is... This is worse than the first American Civil War. Because this is almost completely continental. Like, from one coast to the other coast. We fought a long way to get all the way over here. San Francisco will fall. Ooh, what happened with Middle Africa? Hey! They got Zambezia. Uh, second, Veltkrieg. Oh, the Spanish Civil War still raging on, with the Kingdom of Spain doing well. The Germans have pushed in a little bit into... Oh, they're pushing a little more into France. That's cool. The Italian Republic is even pushing into the SRI, even though the SRI is pushing into two Sicilies. Oh, another tank. Great. Portugal, cool. Let's get out of the Midwest, just because supply isn't super great here. For the love of God, Canada, you better give me my soldiers. Yeah, fighting in the Midwest up here, really garbo. Really garbo. But, you know what? Sacramento's going to fall soon. Canada declare war on the Union of Britain. That's cool. Synthetic oil experiments. Great. Uh, you know what? I don't care about roads. I'm sorry, Iowa. I really don't care about them right now. Pennsylvania, you're going to get that. Do that too soon, get some more rubber. And then after that, Indiana, you're still building stuff. Cool. Is Illinois... Ah, the fall of Sacramento, the California stronghold has fallen. Oh, man. You are not going to like me after, after this war. Where are the leaders? We must publicly execute them. Hang them. We have to. We have to teach people that we can't have this ever again. And MacArthur's going to make sure... He's going to enforce that. 
Ooh, Northern California shirt. Ison joins the international. Oh, we still have the push against Pacific going? That's cool. Oh, uh, where's the... Oh, God. Seattle's the capital. Oh, boy. Well, that's just... Take a while. Just go. Take the coast. Take Salem. Take Portland. Olympia. Olympus tribes. Go take a lot of warfare. That's good. Yeah, we're running out of manpower. It's fine. Coming to France, Global in the Netherlands. Order sword in Northern Texas. Great! That's exactly, exactly what we need right now because we can get some core over here. Because we could use extra manpower. Texans, please, please, please rise up. Netherlands doing the right spec. Cool. Kind of figured that would happen. Uh, what am I importing? Oh, rubber. Oh, uh, German Empire is no more. Uh, there you go. Uh, hey, Union of Brazil. We're not really buddy buddies, but, you know, I'll take some. I'll take some. Oh, let's get some of this too. We're definitely going to need some chromium where we're going. I can't afford that much, but we can do that. There you go. Hmm. Man, that was... <clears throat> that was some very strong coffee. Holy cow. I made. I put too many beans in that one. Woo! Lots of energy going to come out soon. If not already. Yeah, this is incredible. Oh, God, we're out of manpower. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Save a little bit of manpower. Uh, don't make any more tanks then for now. That's fine. I really don't want to raise conscription level, but we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. All right, Edward Brooks. Yeah, the PSA is always definitely a little weaker than the other factions. At least in my opinion, from whenever I played. So, an 80, 60,000 more map. But we could raise it. I, hmm. I could spend the political power on something else, though. But you know what? We're you know here's here's the idea. We're at war. I don't know how long we're going to be at war. Happy 1940, by the way. It is January 3rd. But. If I go to peace, I might not be able to raise my conscription level, so it's best to do it now. Because I might not be able to do it in the future when I need to build up my military force even bigger. So it's actually smarter to do it now than later. Liberty ships, I love the liberty ships, but maritime industry. America! America! Has a naval tradition rivaled only by the great powers of Europe and an equally illustrious history of naval production and innovation. With the dockyards and merchant marine now much improved, let's focus on streamlining and better integrating the increasingly national process of naval production. I love this so much. This is one of probably my favorite focuses. Let's look at the production cost. It just goes down. We can just do more. Columbia sends equipment. Great. Don't mind me. We might kill you later on, but that's okay. Oh, now we're really out of guns. That's not good. That's really not good. I'd love to make more closer support. Do that. Um, that's fine. Go down to five. You actually might. Yeah, you actually make more if you do that. We just need to make more uh, guns for now. Good. Go down to two. Oh, that actually helps you out quite a bit. Go down to two as well. We have plenty of tanks. We have plenty of steel, so I don't want to do this to my fighters, but we kind of have to. Artillery-wise, we are looking okay-ish. So, go, cavalry, go. You'll win the war for us. Who said cavalry was outdated? I didn't. Just kill them off. PSA. Hey, look at that. Thank you. Even though you, aren't you at war as well? You are. Come on, can we get Southern Texas as a core? It's not as populous as Northern Texas, but that's okay. Oh, good. That's actually really good for us. Take less casualties when doing that, and make sure you're doing Mexico again, because we're going to end up fighting the Third International. They, If you let the Third International last for too long, that's not going to be good for anyone. Oh, yeah. Tex North Texas definitely has more soldiers than, or population than South Texas, which is fine. Totally fine. Ah, uh, the PSA. You didn't expect Calvary to win the day, huh? No good. Yeah, it's going to go that way, too. I'll help them out. You gotta help them out. They take over a million. We're taking eight hundred thousand. Jesus Christ! <sighs> That's so bad. Hmm. Oregon, sure. Oh, we actually own Oregon. Nice. Good. Help them out. Help them out. How many divisions they've left? Oh, Peace Conference. Who is this with? It looks like maybe United. They have thirty-nine divisions. Nice. Oh, it's the Middle Easterners. That's cool. Well, at least their war's over for now. Oh, the Ottoman Empire lost? Oh, almost in every single Kaiser game I play. Oh, the PSA is done. The Ottoman Empire almost always wins now. This is unusual for me to see the Cairo Pact actually win. Oh my goodness. That is actually... Hello, Transylvania? Oh my goodness. What happened to Hungary? That is disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm more excited for that than actually seeing the PSA die. We've won it, my friends. We have done it. It only took me five episodes, I think, to win the Civil War, but it is done. America is whole again. Well, kind of whole. Hey, Milan. 
Mullen. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Pats on the back for everyone. Pats on the back. Especially for you, Omar Bradley, but especially Mac Daddy. All right. <clears throat> New England, either you come back into the fold, or uh, Mac Daddy's going to have your head. But I, I can't get over this right now. I cannot get over this. The Ottoman Empire lost. That never happens. Look at the Ukraine. They're actually, they're actually pushing into this area. Ekaterinodar. Why the heck does Transylvania exist? When's the last time I actually saw Transylvania? It might have been in Führerreich before they had one of their updates. Illyria expanded. Oh, that is disgusting. That is disgusting, but so right at the same time. Serbia. Oh, they're supposed to be bigger, but they're being smashed by uh, the Austrians. That's cool. Oh, the Belgrade Pact. Oh, Dona Adri Boon. Oh, hello there. Actually, which way did they choose? Please, please tell me they went with forming a union. Um, Did they not choose yet? No, they're not at peace. Oh, they're fighting Serbia, probably, and they're in their... Oh. I don't know. I don't know where they go. The end of the Second American Civil War. The enemies of America have been destroyed. Once again, the South has been pacified. The syndicalist menace has been suppressed. The threats to the American way of life have been destroyed. And the great system designed so wisely by the Founding Fathers has survived another threat. Now across the country, the people can rejoice and celebrate a new era of peace. Now this looks terrible. So I'm not going to choose that one yet until we get military time industry done or until it finishes. So, Because we will lose soldiers. We will be very heartbroken by what happens. Oh, okay, Serbia, you're gone immediately. Good for you. Good for you. Because I definitely don't want to lose, what, 60%, 50% stability? That looks so bad. Economic devastation. Oh, mine is 15% uh, construction speed. A group of population goes down. Okay, we're going to so we're gonna have no stability after this, like literally. So I don't want to touch that until we get more stuff built. Cancel lonely, so that's fine. We're Oh, that's doing a lot better on guns. Light tanks are looking pretty good. Albania, declare more than them. All right, so with emphasis on this, I'm going to go ahead and just put on artillery here. There we go. Uh, do that to, you know what, where we're going, we're going to have plenty of armored recon cars. Yeah, trust me, that's what we're going to end up there. We're going to have one marine division. Uh, we could make motorized, but now nah, we're okay for now. Bear troopers, airborne, actually, which one's better? You're 12. Here, oh, you have recon, that's good. You know, for you guys, just go throw this stuff on there. Probably not military police. Oh, you definitely need field hospitals for that. Uh, I could throw in artillery. That's probably not really worth it, but just do it anyways. Actually, can they still fair drop? They cannot fair drop, so no artillery then. Fair drops. We might actually use them for naval invasions. Not a bad idea, actually. Cool. Mm. Reichspact and Entente will cooperate. Okay, war makes for strange bad fellows. Bad fellows. Bad fellows? They're probably bad fellows. Cool. I'm going to put you here. The game is lagging just a little bit, maybe. There you go. Yep, it definitely was. That's fine. Whatever. All right. Do mm, I don't want to demobilize. Please, I don't want to demobilize. Uh, you can still recruit stuff. I can, I can still relocate the capital. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do that. We get political power, which is nice, but... This economy has to keep humming. Last America standing. So it is beginning to dawn upon citizens that the American Civil War is actually over. The scars from the fighting will last for a long time, but it seems as if the feelings already started to sink in that any chance to change America's destiny further has passed. We are now forever more than the United States of America, and the world should know that it is so. And we just discovered suicide pills as we said that. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chromium, look at that. Yeah, actually at this point, grab a little bit more, because I we need to make a big navy. And we're going to really focus on naval attack, too. Carriers, we need dreadnoughts, we need cruiser hulls, more dreadnoughts, more dreadnoughts. And, oh, no, it hurt us. Oh, the stability. Oh, it hurts me. Oh, it hurts me so much. Good. That's a better carrier now. Only make one. Come to the American theater. That'd be great. End of the American Civil War. Great. N Native co talkers fighting for America's gone. Hey, but we've got the M1 Johnson. Nice. Happy 1940, my friends. Let's grab some more research speed. That's going to be key to everything. Hopefully we can get another research slot, too. it would be really nice. Oh, no, 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 not Cineclus bombings. Look at the factory count. Oh, why? Why do you hurt me so? Cool. So, Cineclus, who still fight for the revolution, have targeted factories, railways, and troop installations throughout the northern Texas, causing a great deal of damage and a loss of many lives. The National Guard are on the scene in northern Texas and claim they are closer to catching the ringleaders behind the groups as they were before. God dang these terrorists. Literal terrorists. Now, I would love to keep doing this, but I'm glad we went down the other way, because even though this stuff is great, and you get more marines and stuff, this one with more production really just helps us out. Repair speed is pretty good, too. 
Ooh, that's pretty good too. Taking the fight abroad, bonus for land auction, which will begin trials against traitorous generals. Oh, that is good. Yes. Daily political power goes down 20%. More factory output, factory construction speed. That looks really good. Uh, create the Women Army Corps. GI Bill. I love the GI Bill. Infantry weapons. Th this will defend. You bet your butt will defend it. Uh, victory in the Civil War. Oh, God. There's so many things I want to do. Martial Law. I love Martial Law. Oh, there's an extra research slot. But I love Martial Law. Root out traders. Oh, God. I want to do that so badly, too. But we need to do back in business as well. What do we should do? Re rebuild the Monroe Doctrine. American Diplomatic Corps. Rightful Domain. Attack Canada. Attack Mexico. That sounds like a lot of fun. She is quite what? Quap. Mm, uh, mm, a new American imperialism. Enter the fray. War plans. Arsenal democracy. Well, <clears throat> I'm not sure if democracy is really going to be the thing we choose here. Working with our allies. American century. Fortress America. Yeah, I'm not going to be isolationist. There's no way. As much as I love that 10% political power gain from business of neutrality. Um, let's go and do this one. Victory in the Civil War. Separatists have again failed in the mission to destroy the Union of the United States of America. Though both radical socialists and populists dug into the ground, or dug into the power base, we have proven the power of our legitimate government once more. The would-be di dictators of Reed and Long are no longer welcome in America. Ah, oh, as it should be. Uh, even though we were hurt. Actually, this is not too bad. We're still making some more refineries, still making some more civilian factories, which is actually pretty good. However, we could probably use these military factories before those extra civilian factories because we could really use them. Send close bombing. If you want to read this, go right ahead. It's pretty much the same thing. You god dang terrorists. Defend our citizens. Foreign policy. What is that? I declare war on Puerto Rico. Oh, they might join the... What the heck is that? Is that an Iron Cross? Ooh, if I go to war with them now, they could potentially join the top. They might join a faction, which I really don't want to see. I don't want to end up in any other major war right now. So, in time, we will go to war with them again. So, uh, go ahead and take that off. Ooh, it looks like Mexico's having some uh, issues down there, which is nice. Alright, go and train. We need naval XP. Even though we've got quite a good amount. We definitely need more. Any upgrades? I really doubt it. They didn't get too involved. Hey, Minesweeper. Uh, avoidance. That's not bad. Efficiency. But, eh, that's kind of okay. Subs should really avoid that anyways. Are you guys training as well? You are. That's good. They're just repairing. As they should. Cool. You know what? It's 1940. It took a while longer than I hoped for. Oh, look at the, the army. Oh, it's so weak now. Um, for me to actually win the Civil War, but that's okay. Go and make me, like, 20. Because we need a massive army. Uh, oh, we can't actually train. Oh, that sucks. We can't train anymore. Oh, why do I get rid of the other Marines then? No! Uh, let's see. Can I duplicate this? Yes, I can. Oh, that's good. Cool. And we have those guys. You know what? Since we're here. If you're going to use Marines, you might as well make them massive. Nicholas bombing. Last few explosives. Just save on civilian factories for now. Don't even use them yet. Yep. Replace that with this. <clears throat> Very good. So normal Marines, where are my Marines at? Let's see. Panama Canal, you come over here. You get your own general now. Uh, Eisenhower. Uh, there's really no one for me to choose. River is not bad. I really don't like this, but Lee. Cool. Fortress Buster, you might as well do that since you, you're going to be going to Pound Town eventually. Uh, normal Marines. Oh, we can't do that because we don't have enough divisions. That makes sense. That's fine. Uh, with the Naval XP. Army of Loyalists, that's pretty good. Uh, infantry divisions are just better, though. Oh, we got plenty of guns, but we don't have enough artillery. Holy crud. Go ahead and go do that. Iran declared war in Afghanistan? Okay. Come down to five. I'll fit everything else. That'd be good. Mm, that should be okay. Could even use some more tactical bombers. Nice. Fall of Rome. Oh, the Pope is... Oh, the Pope's not having a good time. Nice. I like this. The Pope is not having a good time. Nah, I'll throw both of you there. That's fine for now. Cool. Yeah, this has been a fun episode. I swear, this has been really fun. Can I send volunteers, maybe? I can send volunteers. Even though we don't really like these guys that much. We don't really care for any of these guys. Um, they're authoritarian Democrats. I could help out the these guys. I could help out Russia, really. I'll probably sh I should probably help out Russia. Can I send out tanks? I, 
it might be with some of tanks. Uh, where's Lee? Or Chaffee, not Lee. Let's see what we can do. Might as well, right? Oh, Romania's looking disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Well, we could. Re oh, that, we definitely want to reunite with New England. That'd be a good thing to do. That'd be a great thing to do, actually. 1940. Oh, get better planes, better ships. There's so much we have to do now. Oh, my goodness. We need to get better fighters, get better carrier fighters, all this good stuff. I, I think we should probably beeline, though, for this extra research slot because we're going to need it. We need to catch up with naval tech, air tech, industry, just production of so much. Oh, God. Why is it only syndicalists? Like, we're the Minutemen. I mean, we, yeah, we killed off, you know, long and stuff, but still. Are these all colonies? They're all, oh, they're all, actually, cores. That's good. That's good. Good. How much more rubber do we need? Oh, we're good on rubber. Nice, nice. Nice. We're actually really good on rubber, so that means I'm going to go get two more of this. Uh, actually, that's probably two. That's good. Victory in the Civil War. And now we have to wait to do that one. Maybe. Uh, oh, let it go by day. Maybe see what happens. Oh, oh there's the longest bomb in there. Yup. So, MacArthur's power. With the victory in the Civil War, a question must be decided upon. Should MacArthur resign as president and ensure a peaceful transition of power, or should he remain in control to protect America? Our line is within MacArthur's clique insists that the U.S. will fall back in civil war without him, while Republicans and some Democrats claim MacArthur would be a tyrant to stay. <clears throat> now, democracy triumphs? I don't know about that, man. MacArthur, we already don't have stability, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. Army education for everyone. So, parents, organizations have come out to claim we will willingly let children into the military underage. That sounds awesome. Our solution is to divert prospective youth into military education while keeping them in public schools. The ideas of physical education and moralist taught by Bellamy will revive that old nationalist fervor that failed us in the 1910s. Ah, oh. what? Oh, MacArthur. He's an American Caesar. Some might call him Kaiser, but he's a Caesar. And then we're going to root out traitors. That is next. We destroy these terrorists. And we get more population, which is actually really necessary. Ooh, that looks stability, more war support, more recruitable population factor. That sounds great. Control Congress. Stability, nice. Resistance growth is okay. National rehabilitation, resistance growth. Eh, this middle one isn't bad. This one's pretty good to do. Uh, cool. War support. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Begin reconstruction. That'd be good as well. God dang, you god dang syndicalists. Defender citizens, we will do that. You know, Puerto Rico. I'll be fair with it. Puerto Rico. They did guarantee the safety of our citizens, so I can't really be too angry about them. But I can still be angry about them. Can we get Viborg? Can we actually do that, maybe? Actually, plane-wise... Oh, we can send a lot of planes. That is nice. That is some good stuff. Uh, you guys... Did you have no orders? You have no orders there. Um, do we have any extra spare planes? Not doing anything besides carrier planes? Uh, not really. Uh, any extra planes I could grab? Oh, there's 200 here. Any, anything else? Doesn't really look like it. That's okay. Nice. Well, that's actually, that's not nice. Cool. <clears throat> Cynicalist bombing. God dang you. God darn cynicalist scum. Go suck a fat one. Cool. Oh, you guys actually got it. Can you get over there? See what happens. Help out the Russians. They helped us out in our civil war. So, like, they sent so many volunteers so many times. Can they pierce us? They kind of can. But we're still winning. Centralized fire control is very good. Let's grab forward observers for even more recon for our recon. Because I love it. And field hospitals would be nice. Maintenance companies actually would be good too. But let's grab uh, this stuff. That's always important. God. I almost never used light tanks in 1940. Almost never. New, Eng New England. You're sending volunteers to who? <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is cracking now. To who? What? Yeah, no. New England. Yeah, no. You're either with us or we're going to crush you. I will use the threat of violence if possible. <laughs> Our army is looking very good right now. Cool, very cool. Infantry divisions. I'm gonna make these guys 40 combat with eventually, so. Let's go and do this. Uh, let's make sure let's just make sure we got it good. I don't want to accidentally make everyone 40 combat with immediately. I've done that before, which and it sucks on your industry very badly. Cool. And since we have the army XP before I use it all up for our land auction, so that'll be good. Nice job, guys. Ah, oh, Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe. Good job. Actually, you should actually probably get up there. There you go. 
Uh, helping, doing our part. Reaction uprising crushed. All right. Let's see if we can reunite with them. You better join us, New England. The Canadian concern. While the New England government is not a Canadian puppet, it would be false to suggest that it wasn't part of the British sphere, such as it is, and be concerned to the larger Canadian sphere of interest. The Canadian government is willing to allow New England to reunite with the U.S., since the reason for Canada's intervention in the region ended with a civil war, but they're asking the United States to join the Entente Alliance. This would make up for New England's loss, and also be a way to pay back the Dominion of Canada for saving American lives. Um... I don't want to join you right now. I'll do it later. You know what? We don't have to go to war, right? Like, I'm not going to come into the war. You know what? Ooh. They have no. They really have no right to demand that, though. Hmm. I could always leave later. We'll drop. New England will drop out of all current wars. We annex them. We get a core. I think we'll, we'll make that request, but we're not going to help them out. Can I leave? Can I leave the faction? No, I, we can't yet. That sucks. I will join the Entente, maybe. Let's see what happens. But, uh, I'm really thinking I'm gonna... Where? What? Where are these guys? You know what? I don't even want to see it. I'm just gonna delete them. I'm gonna make new divisions. Screw you, man. I joined the Entente, but I'm not, I'm not fighting. Claim uh, Hawaii? Sure. That sounds like a good thing. War propaganda. Actually, that might be good to do as well. Uh, I really actually would like to do that. Oh my goodness, what the heck. We're on civilian? Why are we on civilian? No, early mobilization at the very least. I'm not helping you, man. Uh, nope. Nope. You know what? We'll help out with the Entente. They can go back home. But, uh, I'm not gonna help them. Uh, if you want to do this, go right ahead. I always do this stuff. Um, you know what? We're gonna spend all the political power we have. Just because the benefits, I think, should outweigh the cost of business. So, uh, this is exactly what I want. It's just with our economy, resource efficiency gain, less consumer goods. Because so, I want to build, build, build. This construction speed is going to come in handy for a year. 20% more. Oh, yeah. This is going to get done fast. That's why exactly why I did that. But, you know what, Canada? I still don't like them. I might just backstab them by the end of this campaign. The dirty little piece of garbage they are. Oh, yeah. American tanks just rolling through. Nothing can compare. Leave the IDEC? Nah, that's not worth it. Join the Isaac? Uh, yeah, that's that's actually probably worth it. Help these guys out and then backstab them? Sounds like a great idea to me. Uh, but you know what's unfortunate? That we're out of time. We're already like 47 minutes into this video. Almost 48. And while I'd like to continue, we've done a great job this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this episode because I I'm loving this campaign. So... If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we will continue rebuilding America and not probably get into any super major conflict with the Entente. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!